You are watching my channel Tech Zone and DIY. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So today I am modifying uh, this AMD AM4 cooler, and I will use it on uh, socket LGA1155. It will fit also 1150. So what I am doing, I will install it diagonally the diagonally like this uh, which matches the holes on to the LGA1155 or 1150 but uh, these are the screws are large than the other ones so I have to use the Intel one these screws so there is a cap here retaining uh, cap so I just uh, brute forced it with the with the plier just uh, it was bottom and then I just pull it out so it came out of this one so a spring is there and the uh, screw is there as well this washer with this screw so this will go on top of here this is gonna go here and then this will go on top of this one like this and then it's gonna tighten nicely onto the board for the LGA1150 so I have removed one and diagonally I'm gonna remove one more here so I had brute forced uh, this one as well with the plier and this has come off like this so I just remove the uh, spring from this portion take it out and then use another one and then you are good to go this cooler is uh, much nicer uh, than uh, the original uh, Intel one this is pretty nice this is rated for 95 watts and uh, but the other one uh, is rated for uh, I don't know I will show you the quality of that one as well so this is uh, the original cooler if you see this is so much deformed this is not really good quality this is really bad so I could have used this one but then it doesn't fit it's too long and the board that I am gonna get uh, for the PC that I discussed about is too small so it will not fit the holes and the entire fan uh, will destabilize all right so this is fitting nicely now but not after i did some modification so there was a like this one this one there was a like this connector over here over here so i had to remove that and at the same time i had to make the space for these three catastrophes i had to kind of grind it down and as well as I have to make it deeper on this side for uh, these capacitors here and one of this uh, part which I had to cut off was touching on top of this one uh, so now once I made this modification now this is sitting on it pretty nice so this is nice and underneath is touching the CPU entirely so this is good and this is the CPU that will be used this is 3470 and you see this sits very nice in the center here this will be a little bit like this probably but then it is still in the center and nicely it's this flat surface look at this surface quality so this is really bad now I had to just uh, install this fan back here and then I'm kind of done. <laughs> 